Hey y'all, it's Brandon here. And today I'm going to show you how to import Fortnite models into Blender. This process is really easy to do. So just do what I do and you'll be good to go. Now, the first thing you want to do is go into the description and download the zip file I have made for you. This zip file, it will include all the things you need, view model, the Blender add-on you need later on. So download that zip file and yeah, you'll be good to go. Now open U model when you have everything downloaded and you'll be greeted with this. The first thing you want to do is go to your PEX folder in the Fortnite files. How do we get there? Really easy. Just go to the drive where you have Fortnite saved. In my case, it will be in program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, content, and PEX. Select the PEX folder press override game detection and select the most recent version of unreal engine which in this case is 4.27 now the last thing we need to do is export only types press sound and press ok now it will ask you for an as key an easy way to get one is to go to the website I've linked in the description down below. This site will display all the AES keys that's, that are available right now, but you only need the main key. And in this case, it's right here. Just copy the main key, go back to your model and paste it in. Let your model do its thing. and you'll get greeted with the user interface. Now, the first thing I recommend doing is press on the triangle and scan content. This basically will scan everything inside of the game files, which will make it a lot easier for us to search for stuff later on. Now, in the meantime, we can go to the second link I've included in the description and this link will direct you to a Google Docs, which includes all skins currently in the game files. Now, for this tutorial, I'm gonna export Beach Bomber. This list is pretty long, so what I recommend doing is pressing Ctrl F, which will activate the search, and type the name of the skin you wanna export. And you will be greeted with the search results. The thing you need to look at is the second row, the body double colon textures. This is the correct file name you need. If you don't have any underscores or whatever, you could not find the, th the stuff you need eventually. So you want to press flat view and pr just type the file name of the skin you want to import into the filter, which in my case is bright underscore bomber underscore summer and everything with said file name will appear here. Sp just sim just press scale. This will filter all meshes or whatever that have a skeleton to appear first in the list. Now double click the first one and as you can see this is Peach Bomber's body itself. How do we export it? Pretty easy. Press tools, export current object and simply select where you want to save it and press OK. If you've done that you can do the same thing with the other parts. This is the headpiece and we want to do the same thing with it like we did with the body. Now there's one last thing we need and that's the head model. Beach Bomber is a Ramirez so it's actually pretty easy and as you can see here Ramirez underscore head underscore zero one. So what we want to do is do the same thing like we did previously and search for Ramirez head underscore zero one. 
and here we have it just do the same thing like before now that we have exported all the things we need you want to open blender first thing you want to do is get rid of all the stuff you don't need second thing you want to do is go to edit preferences and go into add-ons we want to install the psk slash psa importer add-on this will allow us to import all models into blender itself so you want to press install go to the place where you have the add-on saved which will be in my zip folder the zip file that i shared earlier just select the python file and press install add-on and we now want to enable it just search psk i have it installed already but you want to check this box to enable it when you've done that you're good to go now what you want to do next is go to file import psk and go to the place where you've exported all your models when you've done that you might wonder where's the stuff i exported well you can actually see this right above here but this is only the head model we need the body itself first so what we want to do is go to game characters player and depending on the gender of the skin you want to select the correct folder beach bombers female so we go to the female medium bodies and select the file name of the skin you want to import in this case bright bomber summer and you'll have three folders and you basically only need two of them the first one you need is the meshes here you want to double click on the psk file and this will basically import all the parts you need we only need the head model and we can find the head itself in a different folder instead of going to bodies we want to go to heads and it's right here ramirez head 01 mesh double click the psk and boom there we have it now the first thing we want to do is merge the skeleton and the meshes just keep in mind there's a specific order if you don't do this order you might fuck up something and you don't want to do that now the first thing you need to select is the head the head skeleton after that you need to select the skeleton of the head piece and after that you need to select the body itself press ctrl j on the keyboard and you have merged the skeleton now you want to do the same thing with the mesh itself ctrl j and boom now you might look at this and wonder why is it so blocky that's because it's not shaded smooth yet how do we fix this pretty easy right mouse click and shade smooth it's that easy now the second thing we want to do is clean up the skeleton itself because there's bones we don't need and it's really annoying so first thing i'm gonna do is select the hair bones we don't need anymore and these head bones are from the hair we're gonna remove later on when you have selected everything just press delete and delete the bones and as you can see we have correctly removes the bones we don't need of the head now the body itself we want to double click one of the spine bones until you see spine underscore zero three point zero zero one when you see this you've uh, you've selected the correct bone now you want to press shift g this menu will pop up and select suffix this will select all bones with the same end suffix in this case it's 0.001 you want to delete this bones you want to do it again until you see 0.002 do the same thing like before shift g suffix and delete the selected bones now we have cleared up the skeleton the first thing we're gonna do right now is fixing the skeleton itself because if we're gonna move the head around yeah that doesn't look right that's because face attach bone which controls all the face bones isn't connected to the head what we want to do now is select the face attach bone and select the head bone and press ctrl p and select keep offset this will parent the face attach bone to the head bone 
and if we move the head bone everything should be fixed now you might look at this and wonder why is this specific part on the top of the head not moving same for the hair bits here that's because the hair is something we don't need anymore so you want to select the mesh and go into edit mode how do we do this quickly well hover above the mesh and press L this will select all the parts of the mesh you don't need anymore and if you have selected everything just press delete and select vertices if you've done this you have basically done everything you need to do if you've done this you are basically done with the mesh itself you can move it around and whatnot and as you can see the neck bone isn't parented so we want to do that too select the neck bone select the spine 05 bone and do the same thing like we did with the face attach ctrl p keep offset now the neck bone is parented to the spine and it will allow us to pose peach bomber however we like now that we've done that we're gonna do the fun part go to shading and select the mesh what we want to do first is delete all duplicates of the materials as you can see we have two body materials you can just delete one and if you look closely we have a commando hair this is the material of the hair we just deleted so you can delete the hair part as well yeah how, how, how do you texture a fortnite skin it's pretty easy press use notes and you'll get a few notes to start out what we want to do first is find the textures we need how i do it personally is open my file explorer go to the place where we have saved our exports in this case game characters player female medium bodies bright bomber summary and there's a separate textures folder open the textures folder and as you can see here here's all the textures you need except the head texture we're going to open a separate file explorer for this and we're going to do the exact same thing like before but instead of going to the bodies we're going to the heads the thing with ramirez is that she's used in a lot of skins where are the face textures saved offset skins in the you'll think it's in the same folder as the mesh but think again beach bomber in this case is not for beach bomber at least we need to go to f met head zero one textures and as you can see here bright bomber summer this is the head textures we need so we now have everything we need to texture i'm gonna show this once because it's basically the same thing in all of the materials at least for beach bomber in this case but what we want to do first is grab the detexture drop it into blender and connect it to base color when we have done that we want to go back to the same folder and grab the end texture and before we do anything with the end texture make sure you switch from srgb to non-color this will tell blender that the end texture is a special texture in this case a normal map now what we want to do is add another node how do we add another node really simple press add search and in this case we need a normal map node connect the normal with the normal from the principal bsdf add another node and this time we need uh, a rgb curves node connect color with color and color with color in the end texture we're not done yet select a green channel and reverse these two points like i did 
That's the end texture and the D texture. We only have one texture left that we need, which is the S texture. Just like with the end texture, make sure it's set to none color. And in this case, we only need one node. Separate RGB. Connect the texture file to image. And this is the most important part because this is where a lot of people make the mistakes. Connect the R channel to specular. Connect the G channel to metallic and connect the B channel to roughness. And this is basically how you texture stuff in Blender, at least for Fortnite models. Now I'm gonna do the same thing real quick with the other materials, so I'll see you guys in a bit. And here we go. I've completely textured Peach Bomber with the method I just showed you, and that's how you import a Fortnite model into Blender. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out. An alternative is to DM me on Twitter. If you guys enjoyed the video or find the video helpful, please consider leaving a like. If you wanna see more Fortnite Blender tutorials in the future, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys later.